Hi, welcome to Diva Yoga, Diva and Dude Yoga. This is Blanca Bird. I look forward to practicing with you today. Today, we're going to work a little bit on posture. Feeling tall, feeling long, feeling alert in the whole body. So broad in your chest, whether you're seated or standing, broad in the chest and let your shoulders and arms come long beside you. Open up your toes. Feel the length of the back of your neck. And take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel your shoulders dropping back behind you, your tailbone lengthening down towards your heels. Breathe slowly, comfortably through the nose. With the next inhalation, extend the arms up overhead, reaching, reaching, broadening and opening through the chest, lengthening through the little finger side of the hand, inhaling. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let your thumb rest at your sternum and your sternum gently rise up to meet your thumbs. Feel the length at the back of your neck. And as we inhale, let us remember that we are here in this moment, in this practice. Not to worry about the past or the future. We'll be here in this moment, in this practice. Broaden your heart. Gently press the fingertips together. Press the palms together. Broaden across the top of the body. Interlace your fingers and turn your palms outward and stretch your arms. Draw your shoulders back and stretch the arms. Inhale as you press the palms upward, gently lengthening, broadening, and extending. And as you get as high as you can, drop your tailbone and extend a little further. Feel the rotation in the shoulders. Exhale and extend the arms. And we'll take just one arm and draw a big circle, reaching with the little finger side of the hand, reaching out and down, and opening, opening across the chest. Take your time. You can be seated or you can be standing but feel that opening across the top of the chest. One more. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And again, to the other side. Breathing. Opening. Let that shoulder open back. One more. If you're seated, root your sit bones. If you're standing, root your soles of your feet. And gently bring your thumbs underneath your armpits and lift, lift the chest and let your hands come down beside you, drawing the shoulder blades together, lengthening through the back of the neck. Take a deep breath and release. Breathing deeply has so many wonderful benefits. And we'll take a wide stance. So if you're sitting, you may wanna stand up and join us. We're taking a wide stance. And we're gonna rotate one leg in and rotate the other leg out. Open the toes and bring your hips parallel to the floor. Lift and open the shoulders so you're still standing nice and tall. We're broadening. 
we're going to stretch into triangle pose. So shift the hips and lengthen out and release the top of the body. Maybe you come just here, maybe you go further. Either way, you're opening up the top of the body and lengthening out through the crown of the head and breathing. Let that top arm float up. And then push with the back foot and rise up. Let's do it again. Inhaling and extending, exhaling and releasing, rotating and extending. Breathe. Press and rise up. One more on this side. Inhale, stretching out, exhale, releasing, rotating, and extending. Rising up. So we'll turn in and out. And you could look at the heel and see that you're lined up into the center of the back foot. Broad, stretch and tip and open breathe press and rise up inhale exhale so if when you try to open you close walk this hand here to the armpit or here to the rib cage and see if that helps you open the chest. Breathe. And rise up. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And let's stretch the whole top of the body so your feet are parallel to each other both pointed forward, opening up the heart, and gently extending up and releasing. Up and release. And one more up and release. And the other side. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy that strong stretch. Broaden, opening, breathing. Reach out with little toes on either side. We're going to turn in again and out. And the knee is gently bent, but it doesn't come past the ankle. Hangs right back on top of the ankle. And the hips are parallel to the floor. And we're sitting down in this pose. You need to walk your feet apart a little bit. Do that. You feel yourself growing taller through the spine. Shoulders open, broadening across the chest. Warrior two. So we're looking out past the fingertips, rolling the shoulders open, looking, letting both hands be even. I hope, I hope, broaden through the chest. Breathe. Push the feet into the floor. Use that back thigh for stability. Inhale. We'll turn in. Rotate. Extend. And sit down on the other side. See if you can really get your hips parallel to the floor and broaden across the base of the body. Broaden across the chest. Look out past your fingertips. And inhale. And we're turning back in and out and opening. We're going to bend that front knee and reach. And here you may rest your forearm on your knee. You're going to open across the chest, or you can walk your hand down to your ankle, and you're opening across the chest. 
and we're walking this hand up the side of the body. We're rotating at the shoulder and reaching out past the ear. Breathe. Reach with the little toes on that back foot and let it bring you up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Walk it up or stretch it up and extend. Feel the opening in the chest. Don't let yourself curl forward. Resist that. You can hold your hand here to open up the chest. Breathe. And reach and rise. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And press. And up you come. And we'll go to the other side. So we're turning in and out and opening and sitting down. Feel that back hip right there. That magic button release so that you can really sit down. Opening the knee. Don't let it fold in. Broadening across the chest just like we were in Warrior Two. Stretching and releasing. Walk it up. It's tight. Rotate it out. Lengthen it. Walk it up. So there you are. Or maybe here is a better place. Open and breathe. And press with that back foot. And let yourself come up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe. So here or here, or all the way. Breathe. And press, and rise up. Last one. Take your time. Try it. Do your best. Press with the feet. Use that back foot, and let it move you back up. And turn, and step together. So we're opening up the toes, we're broadening the chest. Feel yourself back in Tadasana, mountain pose, broadening and lengthening through the crown of the head. And we're gonna use the wall. So if you have a wall, you can stop me and go find it and set yourself back up. I'm gonna press my body against the wall, walk my feet out at least one foot distance from the wall. I'm going to go a little bit further than that. And then I'm going to bend my knees and sit against that wall. So while I'm here, I'm exploring the way my spine is in connection with the wall. So I'm dropping my tailbone, broad, broadening my chest, using my thighs, opening, lengthening, letting my chin drop, Breathing, pushing energy into the thighs, into the heels, and then let's open the arms wide. Let's turn the palms up and bring the hands together, lengthening, dropping that chin and pressing out and down. And let's walk ourselves back up the wall. See if you can stand at least two to three inches away from the wall. Give yourself room for your body. Roll the chest open. Inhale, stand, lift the thighs. Really feel that lift in the thighs and feel how that allows your tailbone to drop. Open up the chest. Feel the length in the torso. Feel the lift under the armpits. Feel your arms come up. Maybe you can touch your thumbs to the wall. Maybe you can touch your fingers to the wall. Let your chin drop and lengthen and extend the body. Breathe. And we'll press out with the arms. Let's practice Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose, also using the wall. So I've got a block 
you can use a chair, you can use a counter, <laughs> you can use um, a stack of books, but put them tight against the wall. Bring your foot at least six inches from your prop and about six inches away from the wall. We're gonna broaden our heart, just like we did in the previous set of poses. We're gonna bend the front knee and reach out as far as we can to take hold of that prop. And then we're gonna shift the weight into the front thigh and lift the back leg, extending it, lengthening. Do you see how my foot is flexed? Really flex that foot. Keep this foot straight, parallel to the wall and use that thigh. So we're opening the hip, opening the shoulders and the chest and opening all the way across the body. And breathe. See if you can look up toward that thumb and breathe. Bend the knee and down you come. The wall is a wonderful balance tool. Let's try it on the other side. So we'll set up the block. Make sure our foot's a little bit away from the wall, a little bit away from the block. Broaden, stepping back. You can let yourself lean on the wall. Broaden, extend, release, and then shift your weight to that front foot. Let yourself be against the wall. Open the hips, lengthen and point through the heel. Open and breathe. Breathe. It's a wonderful feeling in, to be in this pose. And release. And it can help relieve some low back pain, leg pain. So again, here we are, broadening lengthening out through the crown of the head, breathing, dropping the hands. You feel balanced? Wonderful. So we can do Ardha Chandrasana one more time, either with the wall or without the wall, your choice. Let yourself get anchored, put that leg in place, put your hand in place. Try it from this st steady position rather than moving into it or you can move into it if you choose. Hand, shoulder, hip against the wall. Open wide, breathe, and release. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Extending through both legs. And we'll go to the other side. Breathe, and open. and release. Feel yourself nice and tall. Stretch wide. Stretch wide. Open up your toes. Stretch your arms up overhead. Lift and bring your hands together. So now that we've broadened across the top of the body, we want to keep that breadth, even as we lengthen and pull the fingertips together and stretch over to one side and over to the other. Lift the heart and stretch over. Pull up from the earth while anchoring your feet. Seems kind of funny, right? But we're anchoring the feet and we're pulling away from that anchor. Open the chest. Try it again. Inhale, press, lift, pull, and anchor. Last time. Breathe. And release. And we'll roll one shoulder and the other shoulder and both shoulders and we'll practice tree pose 
So you can be near the wall. You can use the wall and come to the center of your mat. Stand with your feet directly under your hips. Feel how tall and strong your body is. Feel how long the sides of your body is and how open your chest is. And breathe. Shift your weight, lift, and turn. Open and put that foot either under the knee or above the knee. Use the wall if you wish. Open the heart, stretch the arms up. Feel that foot in the ground, in the ground, giving you grounding and length and release. We'll try it to the other side. Breathe, shift, lift. So just a little touch gives you a lot of balance. Lift through the thigh and lengthen. Breathe and release. And we'll come down toward the earth. So let's come through downward facing dog. So you may want some blocks. We're going to come to the back of the mat and Feel ourselves in a strong Tadasana. Stretch up, open, lengthen, and lift. Bring your hands together, and as you exhale, gently roll yourself forward as tightly as you can. Rolling forward, walking forward. So if you want the blocks, you can use them. And let your bottom come high into the sky. Come way up on your tippy toes. Drop your head. Stretch out of your arms. And then drop one heel and the other heel. Breathing. Bring your feet as wide as the mat and press again, lengthening through the sit bones and releasing the heels. Release the head. I'm going to come off the blocks. You can stay on them if you wish. So we're stretching and lengthening. And then we'll come down onto our hands and knees. Lengthening the tops of your feet and a little bit of cat and cow stretching and opening the body. Inhaling and exhale. Inhaling, open, exhale. Inhaling, open, and exhale. And let's cross the body. So we're going to bring a hand across to the opposite knee and draw the ear toward the earth. Listening, inhale, and trade side. And rise up. Bring your toes together. Spread your knees apart. And exhale your bottom towards your heels. And walk your hands forward, stretching and releasing the body. Walking your hands back up, extending both legs out in front of you, finding your sit bones, making your hips secure on the earth, lifting and opening the chest, lengthening that spine, feeling the openness and the lift at the top of the chest, rolling open, breathing. Breathing. Breathing through the nose. Bring the thighs together and open the feet. Dandasana. And we'll stretch up and 
length of the arms come off the center just a little and exhale as we close over and then walk your hands back up let's take one leg and put the foot against the inner thigh and lift and turn and release the body down back up and we'll do that on the other side lift and turn and walk yourself down massage yourself back up and extend bring both feet together pressing the soles of the feet together opening up the chest Gently broadening Baddha Konasana, bound ankle pose, releasing the knees, releasing the hips. Feeling the length of the back of the body, feeling the heart lifted and the chest open. And we're gonna take this pose to the floor. So, Supta Baddha Konasana. We have our feet together, and if you have blocks or a blanket, you can put that underneath the thighs as you roll yourself down. And this is a wonderful resting pose. Adjust it so there's no effort. Release the body, roll the shoulders under, extend the arms out drop the chin. Breathe. We'll bring our hands underneath our thighs and draw both knees into the chest. Roll just a little bit from side to side. And move those blocks out of the way. And extend both legs to rest in Shavasana. So we'll tense up the hips and open the legs. Let them roll out. Bring the shoulder blades together and the hands roll open toward the sky. Feel your chin dropped. You can remove your glasses if you wear them and put them on your belly or off to the side. Breathe. Breathe into the back of your body. Allow your body to settle into the earth. Allow your feet to relax, your knees, your chest back of your neck. Rest in Shavasana. Now close our practice. I wish you all a wonderful week and thank you for your practice. Namaste. Thank you.